just don't do kids. Because they're there constantly in your ear all the time and you're doing something for them all the time. Why did you have them then? Oh my god. Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching another episode of Wife Swap, the UK edition. The mother on this episode just made my Scottish blood boil and I had to rant about it. I've reacted to two other Wife Swap episodes prior to this one so you can click up here if you want to check them out. If you aren't familiar with this show, it is about two families who are the complete polar opposite of each other and they swap wives for two weeks. On the first week, the wives follow the family's rules and on the second week, the wives have their own rules that the families must follow. And in doing so, it is supposed to help the families change for the better. Sometimes it helps and sometimes it doesn't. But most of the time, there's lots of drama and chaos. There is a UK, USA and Australian edition of this show. So, on this episode, we have the Stricklands. Michelle and Ian have been together for six years and they have three-year-old twins, a boy and a girl. Michelle also has a 16-year-old daughter from a previous relationship. Michelle works as a barmaid in her local bar and is also where she spends most of her leisure time. Michelle and Ian love darts and like to go out five nights a week, leaving Michelle's daughter to look after the twins. Just don't do kids. Because they're there constantly in your ear all the time and you're doing something for them all the time. If I had no kids, what would my priorities be? Me, me and me even more. Why did you have them then? If you don't want them, why did you decide to like have them? What's the... Oh my god. She doesn't like to engage with her kids and comes across that the only reason she had kids was for the sake of it. At one point, she says during the swap, she was devastated that she was pregnant again and she was going to have triplets unfortunately one of them died during pregnancy and she said thank christ i don't know i just think coming from a mother that just sounds very cruel to me her husband works full time but he also looks after the kids so he'll get up in the morning and get the kids ready for school while she lazies around in her bed she doesn't do any of the cleaning either and leaves the house in a bit of a state I can understand that she won't get home till the back of two in the morning, so yeah, the dad can look after the kids in the morning and get them ready for school. What I don't agree with is that she gets up and then refuses to do the cleaning in the house later on. Like, what is the harm in running a hoover around or doing some dishes? It's not like she's hungover. It's just like a constant piss up of life, isn't it? Go to the bar. We get slaughtered half the time, I can't even remember going home. Uh, never mind, but still. The other family is the Ricards. Yvonne and Dave have been married for 10 years. They have four children, a son who is eight, and three daughters who are 10, 5 and 2. Yvonne is a perfectionist. She loves cleaning and has very high standards. She's a stay-at-home mum, while her husband Dave is a full-time electrician. Because of Yvonne's very high standards, she likes everything to be perfect to the point where her living room becomes more of a showroom than an actual lived-in area of the house. She can put her cushions out on the sofa if there's anybody coming, but they're not allowed to sit on them. If they went to sit down, she'd take the cushion off the chair. They're just literally for show. She liked to keep everything perfect. Oh, no. Just... no, 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 no. I don't like that. Like, I love the fact that, like, for our couch, right, we have, like, we have a fabric couch. And you know how you get those froze over it? Whoops, that's me hitting the mic. Uh, you know how you got those, like, froze over it? Ours is green. We have that in the couch, because um, I remember like growing up, my grandma had it for like the cats and stuff like that, and I thought it was just awesome. So, um, if we ever want to get like a dog or anything like that, because we're dog people, like, we love our dogs, um, we um, there it's for the dogs to sit, like sit on and stuff like that, you know. So it keeps the the couch clean, blah blah blah. But um, we have um, just the cushions on the couch all the time, right? Because that's how I like it. I have a certain way to like have all my cushions around me when I'm like having my dinner or whatever like that. Uh, be right back, coffee on. No worries at all. I will see when you get back. Um, and we also have like our duvets on the couch as well because it's just nice and cosy. Like coziness. Some people do this and that's fair enough for them. But I couldn't live like the fact is like okay, the cushions must be on the couch when uh, guests come over. I was, I was literally about to say customers there. <laughs> when guests come over, but then you can't sit on them. No. What's the point? That's just like, I, I will have this dress, but it will never sit on my body. It will be in the, the fucking cupboard at all times against my other dresses, but I will never wear it. What's the point? But 
she doesn't have to be perfect. And I hope this, like, hope for this anyway, that she's just going to learn that she can just calm the fuck down. So, yeah, I just feel like for me and my partner, we like to have a cosy house and, I don't know, a welcoming home. It's pretty bizarre to me that some people live this way. It's like living a showroom Pinterest life and I, d- I just don't get it. Also, I'm too lazy and I would tire of chugging the cushions in a cupboard every bloody night and day because some bastard came in and ate my biscuits and drank all my tea. Nah, <laughs> put the bloody cushions out, women, and enjoy life. There is more to life than plumping a bloody cushion and bringing out a goddamn rug. The kids have a routine of changing out their, uh, changing out of their uniforms and as soon as they get home from school and getting their homework done right away. I completely agree with this. I was also brought this way and it puts you in a better mindset. However, I am no angel and sometimes I'd be hanging out with my friends and didn't bother getting out my uniform or get my homework done first because I just couldn't be arsed. But I do agree with this mother that getting the homework done first and then having t- playtime afterwards is a better way of doing things. The kids also have a strict bedtime, but even though the kids are off to bed, Yvonne is still cleaning away. Now, I get it. He isn't working all day, as has she. But he could but he could give her a hand. Or go chat to her while she's doing whatever cleaning stuff still needs done at 11 o'clock at night. Unfortunately, there is no socialising in their relationship and they don't talk, they don't go out together and they just don't do anything at all since they've had kids. So, the wives swap lives. And while wandering around the new home, Michelle sees how pretty the girl's bedroom is and says this. Nice and pink. Wish my kids' room was like this. Right. It could be if you actually got paint and then went and put the money that you used to go out and get pissed and put it in a little pot and then go to B&Q and then buy the paint and then come home and then paint it like that. But you are a selfish woman, so you won't. I mean, it's a bloody truth. So <laughs> during the swap, Michelle has to keep the house all tidy and to the highest standards that Yvonne keeps, which does take its toll on her. And she's not used to this type of lifestyle. Whereas Yvonne goes to work for the first time ever, like ever, as a barmaid in the pub and Mich- that Michelle works in. Yvonne stopped cleaning and started to enjoy being out at work. <laughs> I don't know, does that look right? Well, you know what? If she's not had a job in her life, the best one for her to do would be going to the, the bar and working behind the bar because that was my first proper job. And I, like, was... When I first worked behind the bar, I was, like, very, like, in my shell and didn't open up. And then <laughs> I'm out of it now. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Which is why I can do this kind of shit because before I'm just like, I know, I know, I do that. But um, now, pfft. It's so cute. And she clearly really enjoys it. However, the next day she has to go back to doing nothing. She has to live the life of Michelle and do no cleaning, even though just by looking at the house, it really needs done. Ian does all the cleaning. Like, what he can do anyway, I mean, he's working full time and watches the kids. It's not surprising a lot has piled up. Yvonne sits and has a chat with Ian. Would you never say, like, God, it'd be nice if you could get up and nah. tidy or do something? Nah, two hours on. Really? Yeah. Don't bother me. Nothing bothers me. Do you never say to her, I'm tired, Michelle. Can you just help me? No. I think you're a big softy. Softy isn't the word I would use. It begins with an S and it's a four letter word. But I don't want to get in trouble, so you lot can figure it out, okay? But yeah, nothing bothers this guy, like, at all. But I think I know why. He treats some nice and loads of ways, and I wonder what that could be. I don't think for him, doing the dishes every day is worth the one blowjob a week. Anyway, so <laughs> back to Michelle. She is trying to get through the cleaning routine and finding it a struggle. I mean, she doesn't clean her own house, so diving to a very strict high standard cleaning regime with no training, I guess you could say. Like, if on showing her the ropes first and how the standards should be, then Michelle could visually see, like, if it wasn't that, if it was that kind of show, you know. But I mean, I guess she saw it when she first arrived in the home, but I don't think that's the same as actually been shown how to prepare the bed sheets with like the hospital corners that you would do as a housekeeper that's what I did anyway so it's pretty unfair to expect Michelle to do such high standards 
But Dave expects it because, well, that's what his wife does. These first few days, she should be doing it how Yvonne does it, whether she wants to or not. Like, I can understand from her perspective, if you're not, like, used to doing, like, a very strict routine like this other lady, so obviously she's got a standard, so her husband is going to be looking at it and thinking, like, oh, you didn't polish this mirror to her standards. Of course she's not going to do that because she's not got the same standards as the other one, but as long as she's actually doing it and doing it to the best of her ability, that's important. But the husband, if he has, if he knows the standard of the wife, then he should be like chipping in. Even if he like, obviously the rules haven't changed yet, but like he could be clean up a little, I don't know. He won't do it anyway, but still. He's just whinging for it. Himself. However, the problem I have with Dave is that he never helps out Michelle or Yvonne technically since she's his wife when it comes to the weekend. Michelle has to do all the cleaning on the weekend when he's on the couch watching TV. He's minding the kids, technically, but no, he's not. They just happen to be there watching the telly. I don't think he even realises they're there. And while Michelle's hard at work, Dave's not. He'll spend his weekend relaxing. Like, it's fine for the fact that he's going to work and then the mum stays home to look after the children and look after the house because that's still work, right? But what's not right is the fact that when it comes to the weekend, when there's both of them there and he could be doing half of the housework and working together and half of the work looking after the children. So if she's, for example, giving the kids a bath, all right, he could be then be getting the the housework done, running the hoover. I don't think they have pets, so I don't think they need to, I don't know, I've not got children, so I don't know how long, how many times a, a friggin' week he needs to like hoover the house or something, like... Um, I wouldn't expect it like for just two adults like the situation I'm in like me and my partner is we don't really have to hoover all the goddamn time like every single day because it's just the two of us although I have these pink socks <laughs> these pink fucking um, what they call it slipper day socks slipper sock things and there's just like pink wool everywhere so until I sort that out then <laughs> we have to but um, that's only the problem but this man the man in this should be taking the responsibility for looking after the children he shouldn't be sitting on his fat arse and watching the telly when she's upstairs trying to get the the kids sorted out he could be like playing with the children doing stuff like that i don't know something that's not this anyway meanwhile yvonne and ian head to the bar together and yvonne enjoys herself and gets pisses and has a whale of a time ian gets up for the karaoke night and sings a song for michelle which is just so cute I love that it's so he's so adorable and it, it makes me wonder about Michelle to be honest. She never talks about Ian or her family in a loving way. You know, um, we've not really heard what the other women, honestly I don't even know these people's names, the blonde one, we'll just call her blonde, the blonde one, does she love her husband? Because she doesn't seem to like her kids very much, she thinks they're annoying and she doesn't really talk about her husband or boyfriend or whatever his like statuses to her but he got up and like sang a song about her so he clearly is really loves her but you don't really know what her feelings is on she just seems to like hate everybody i don't know a couple days in michelle starts feeling the stress from doing the routine of nothing but cleaning and has noticed that she and dave haven't been speaking or spending time together she has a word with him and asks what the communication is like with him and yvonne you fuck the fucking hoovering sitting have a beer and have a cuddle on the couch. But you don't do it. Weekends, we, we don't talk during the week, during the weekends. Oh, I think we do. M Michelle suggests, why don't Dave and Vaughn have a date night? And he says he'd like to, but once a week, more like every couple of months. So Michelle says it doesn't have to be going out all the time to stay home and talk. I completely agree. You don't even have to go out. You literally don't have to go out. And me and my partner were talking about this yesterday, right? Because I seen a TikTok and it was from the Big Bang Theory, right? And it's when, <clears throat> and I, I really didn't like it. Like, I actually put a little comment on it because it pissed me off that much. Uh, we're not counting this as a date, are we? But I think the right answer here is no. When a guy asked me to spend time with him, maybe he planned something a little more interesting than hanging out at home watching TV. Yeah, so she basically says to him, like, if you're expecting me to come over, I would want uh, a better date night. Like, you know, put more effort in, basically. And I got annoyed. I'm like, what is wrong with watching TV? What is wrong with sitting down with your partner and chilling and enjoying yourself? You're still in, the, you've got company, you're spending time together. And 
the fact like he's saying like oh we don't go out once a week uh, sorry we could go out once a week and stuff like that and it's like it doesn't need to go out and be a big massive thing or go to a restaurant or something like that like that's still nice but literally spend time together what we do is i said this as well we both said this like literally every day is a date every time you spend time with your partner that is a date because you're spending time with them doesn't matter what it is it is time together and like this man oh my god I want to scream at him go back in the 2000s and have a go at him because <laughs> like at the moment we're watching um, Pokemon X and Y well X, Y, Z now because it's on the third and last season of this season um, and we just like like I, I make the dinner and then we get he sets it all up and then we sit and we have our dinner but during watching Pokemon it's not like just like what you've been seeing with them and they just put the telly on and they don't speak nothing like that we eat our food right watching Pokemon and we pause it like I do as I'm chatting to you so now literally pause the show blah 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 talking about whatever else is going on in the show and then we play it again and every time we do that we we sit down let's say for instance it's four o'clock right hypothetically and we'll put um the telly on and we'll we won't we will not finish our dinner slash like our show till even though like it would probably take about if you're not talking about an hour okay and we can make that last for about three because we're watching a bunch of episodes we're talking during it we're just like blah 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 and spending time together and that is what you should be doing all the time we do that when we're playing dead by daylight that is what we do as well we just like put that on for a few hours and and play that together and it's fun. And that is a date. You don't have to go anywhere. Like this woman saying like you can go and take her to the pub. You don't have to go and do that. You could literally sit at home and have a game night. You could literally sit at home and watch telly and cuddle on the couch. My God, this man thinks he has to do all this like amazing stuff. God. So the real change happens. And one of Michelle's rules is she wants the kids to look after each other in the morning when they have to get ready for school. Which is absolutely absurd considering how young they are. She does this because she wants a lion. Honestly, this woman is unreal. The kids are too young to be taking care of their younger sibling and getting themselves ready for school, in my opinion. They aren't used to it and haven't been shown how to do certain morning tasks. It's just pure neglect from this mother. On the first day of the kids being independent, they have slept in and are running late. But does, Mel sh does Michelle get up and hurry them along? <laughs> does she fuck? But Michelle's determined Why are you not, to have her Oh my her god, life. this woman, she's not even getting out to help them with their stuff. They've slept in and she's just like, oh, I'll go back to bed then. Oh my god, I'd get that bit of paper and slap her in the face of it. Better be ready! Get dressed! She's shouting from Hello. the room. Oh. Hello. Oh. Okay, I think Hannah was saying um, the second youngest. Or something like that. So yeah, she would need help from school. The other two are like big enough to get themselves sorted and things like that in comparison. But yeah, he's he's right. Um, she needs to get her hair sorted and stuff like that. The mum needs to do the hair and everything. And then she needs, needs to get out for the toddler. Like she can't, she can fall down the stairs or anything. It's, it's things like that. It's so scary. I'm sure the cameraman probably helped her, but still. Yeah, I don't think it's really fair for the kids having to look after a child, look after a, a wee kid in the morning, especially when they get ready for school because they're already trying to get themselves ready and get that sorted before they go to school and they've got to run around after a little baby. No, that's that's bad. She should be looking after the, the, the wee baby. Honestly, like, I think a child... I don't have children, like I've said, like, many times tonight on the stream, but I think a child should be independent when they get to a point of, like, getting themselves up in the morning, like, when her role should be a bit less as a mum, when they're probably about, like, 10. When they're just, like, about but probably in primary six primary six i would say because at that point they're on the cusp of going to high school and then they'll be like a teenager and that's when they should start be getting up themselves and stuff like that or at least making their own lunch or something but at five years old to get up in the morning no not at all you can't you don't even know how to get your hair done or anything at that point no she's just a really lazy well, i think the fact like what her approach is trying to make them independent which is fair enough because kids obviously need to be so they can get grown up and know how to look after themselves but the age they are she should be supervising and she didn't and she was too busy in her bed and not caring and there's like children and there's like stairs and the kids could fall down the stairs the kids could be fighting you don't know she needs to supervise and let them get ready for school but be around and that's the problem i know that one of the daughters is 10 but that's beyond the point she hasn't been taught to be independent from her parents 
Like, let's just say Michelle could have let the 10 year old make her own lunch with Michelle supervising the night before. I used to do it when I was a kid. I used to make my lunch the night before and then it would be a task I didn't have to worry about doing in the morning, especially if I'd slept in. Since knowing that she can do it herself and doesn't need her mum to do it when she returns from the swap. But the daughter isn't just looking after herself during this real change. She has three other siblings to look after too. And like I said, there could be a fight. Someone could fall or there could be an accident or school books could be forgotten. These are children, not little adults or teenagers. And Michelle needs to sort herself out and be a better mum. This pissed me off so much that she's willingly lying in the bed, shouting from the room. These kids must have been so stressed without help. I really don't like Michelle. I honestly think she is the worst mother I have seen on this show so far. She doesn't care about her kids or her partner, just herself. Yvonne's real change is that she wants to take on the woman's role of the house and look after the kids and do the housework. This is what she likes and that's her choice. When I say a woman's role, this is the words that she has used and I'm just repeating it back. But another rule of hers is she asks Ian to take down the dartboard and the trophies that he and Michelle have won from dart competitions. But as Ian packs all the trophies away, this happens. Any achievements? We're dart players as well as mums and dads. That's yeah. all right, well. Are they all pro? Ian. You what? know what? I think this man is literally going to have a me, myself and Irene moment. He is too nice. Even that didn't even make him snap. The fact that he just went and broke all the trophies that him and his wife went and got for the darts competitions. That didn't even break him. He is going to turn around in a shop one day and he's just going to snap and turn into whatever his face was in that film. I can't remember. Frank, uh, Hank. Hank. He's going to turn around and become a Hank. Like I said, this man doesn't show much annoyance. So another one of Michelle's rules is she's not doing any of the cleaning whatsoever. So one night, when her and Dave and Dave's sister are out in the town, the kids decide to tidy up the living room for when the adults get home. Which is lovely. They respect their home and their parents and they know that their mum works hard to keep the house clean and tidy for them. But Michelle is annoyed and the kids cleaned, whereas Dave is over the moon. And she gets upset. I can't believe the kids tied it up. How sad is that? One, things can get broken. Two, things can get lost. And three, if someone stands on it, they could get hurt. So really what the kids did is uh, stop a hazard happening. And she's crying about it. My God, I want you to me stand on the Lego because he's pissed me off all this bloody week. Oh, so mop your tears, silly lady. So the swap comes to an end. And you can imagine Yvonne and Michelle do not get on at all. Now, I can agree and disagree with both of them. Michelle thinks that Dave... Michelle thinks because Dave lives in the house, it shouldn't be all left to Yvonne. Yes, I do agree. However, he works 10 to 12 hours, five days a week. Yvonne doesn't work. Therefore, she is at home keeping the house in order and looking after the kids. So she is doing that while he's at work. By the weekends, when he is off, he should be helping and not always relaxing. You can use the argument, yeah, but Yvonne likes it. Sure, valid point, but Dave should want to spend time with her. Help her out. Put a wash on so it saves her doing it until 11 at night. They live together and they should be working together. Also, from taking a break from cleaning all the time, it frees up time for them to relax together. Put a movie on or just sit and chat about their day or if they can head out for the evening. But after hearing that Dave was out partying a lot with Michelle... Yvonne has had enough and gets up to leave. So the wives return home and nothing much changes to to be honest. Yvonne still wants a perfect home but is trying to get used to the cushions and rugby out all the time. Dave appreciates her more and helps out more which is great. But they do, they do head out together and they do more together which is lovely. Michelle and Ian uh... I did think about doing an hour cleaning every day, but it's a thought that counts. Michelle tells me to do something and then we get on and do it. My God, this man, he... So his wife tells him to do something and he just goes and does it. Does it? No, compromise, talk. It's not... All, she's not the queen. She's not the, the, the god and the bloody house. Fuck. Oh, well. Anyway, that is the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please remember to give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you know when I'll be next uploading a video. 
Also, comment below what you'd like to see me react to next and have an awesome rest of your day. Bye for now. Thank you.